Introducing a priori. Um, so what plans or actions, if any, do you see CPOs taking to, you know, sort of operate in that new realm? Yeah, I think instead of talking the talk, we're, start, we're starting to walk the talk. So making it a part of our sourcing decision and truly understanding, again, all those multi-tiers of where is the component, where is the part coming from, where is the material coming from, what's it take to, to get it, the raw materials, um, you know, when you think about batteries and, and et cetera. So it's really becoming front of mind, again, Pre-pandemic, we were talking about it. One of the areas I was really monitoring was ocean freight and the clean fuel for the freighters. You know, that got postponed, but that's going to come back. So again, are you going to be long distance? Are you going to be offshore, near shore, um, or onshore? So that whole strategy, I think that's top of mind. Um, different regulations for different states. Obviously, look at what's happening in California and some of the greener states versus non-green states. How's that going to impact? Um, you know, look at what's happening in Mexico, obviously what's happening in China. So I, I think it's becoming top of mind um, more and more for us here domestically. It's, I, I, do, I do think Europe's ahead of us on this. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot we can learn from our European colleagues and, and other colleagues who are further ahead than us. Um, but I also think it's becoming part of the design. And, and we've talked about it and we'll talk about it later in the conference around design for sustainability and, and understanding that carbon footprint. Great. Well, Rob, thanks so much for joining us today. And Rob's going to be around for the next <laughs> couple of days. So if you want to corner him, he's a great person to talk to. Rob, thanks again. Really appreciate you joining us Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. A priori, making profitability and sustainability a reality for a better world.